let's talk about Girls Fly. Because I know that's one of your proudest achievements, one of the club's proudest achievements. Everybody around is fired up about this. How did Girls Flag come on your radar? How did it get started in Williamson County as that sort of trial balloon? Really wanted to do it from from the jump when I when I when I moved up to Tennessee uh, because it was so successful in Florida. Georgia had uh, kind of already got their program going uh, in, in that state through through the Falcons. The Falcons were were big time in help, helping get that started. And uh, I knew that we could do that here. You had to find the right timing. Right. Timing was everything. Uh, you had to have, uh, you know, the support and the resources, which, you know, our, uh, our, our leadership group and our ownership group have been fantastic. They've been all in since day one, as soon as we made the ask. And then you had to, you had to find the right, the right place for it. And uh, certainly you want to have it all throughout the state, but, but you got to have that initial cornerstone, which, which we thought was Williamson County because of the buy-in from the school district, the administration, the, the coaches that were already on staff there, the people that were in the building. And, uh, you know, that's why we started it there and, uh, and I've been expanding ever since. So I went the first Sunday to Franklin High School and I watched two games. But when I got out there, I could not believe the quality of play. And I even talked to a couple of the head coaches and they too were surprised because of how it was set up. Girls from other sports, because it was just being played on the weekends, girls from other sports could come try it. Yeah. And I, I mean, the quality of the play was fantastic. Yeah, I was so impressed with the athleticism. Mm -hmm. I mean, and you could just kind of see week by week, these girls started gelling together. Um, you could see the improvement literally from Sunday to Sunday. 